Burn Barkeep. We're back. We're back, man. Week after week. We, uh, we locked into one. You forgot to introduce yourself, man. I know. I'm excited. Noah. Do, do people care? Yeah. Noah, great to be here yet again, man. I'm still, the usual line. I'm still Curtis, but yeah. I'm more excited about Jack. It is Jack 10 night. Pretty excited. Yeah. This is one that everybody's searching for. Mm -hmm. Not many will find. Um, That's went, in, went into the local liquor store on a rainy day. Mm -hmm. A lot of rain lately. And uh, she was just sitting there. Mm -hmm. I was like... Nothing that will pick up your spirits on a rainy day. Yeah. No secondary here. Mm -hmm. It was just SRP. Shout out to Bubbles. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we got a good one tonight. Well, good. at least I guess we hope. Yeah. So good, good segue. Mm -hmm. Since you hopped into MSRP, we'll, we'll hit specs real quick. That's why we're here. Good it's, segues. It is the standard Jack Daniels mash bill. We have 80% mm -hmm. corn, 12% barley, 8% rye. Yep. And then you mentioned MSRP. What did you pay for this? If you don't mind me asking. So this year, don't 85. Want to, don't want to inquire I, on your finances, but. I, uh, I told the wife, mm -hmm. walked in. I was pretty pumped about it. Sure. Told the wife. You had like both hands on it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, I was pretty close to just Formula One, just shaking champagne. Mm -hmm. Glad uh, you didn't. And then I, yeah, I Glad decided against it. Sure. Um, so 85 okay. this year, which is up from last year, which I think was in the 70s. Mm -hmm. 75, um, 80, something like that. Know. But to be fair, there's just extreme value on the Jack Daniels side when it comes to these barrel proofs, 10 and 12, which yeah. we've done the 12. So I'll let you stick the card up. Yeah. In the uh, corner. Done that. Maybe this way. Been there, done that. That was an exciting one. Sure. We'll see if this one uh, just touches that, that jack. Sure. Holds see a if candle, if you will. Jack touches jack. We're at 97 proof. Okay, yeah, that's important. Bittersweet. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like now is the time to give a disclaimer. Of, so we do have an affiliate program with a couple uh, websites, legal websites mm -hmm. that Distributors. Sell, sell liquor. Mm hmm um, some can be well-priced, some cannot be well-priced. Love Scotch does have this available, I believe, at 150 If, you, I, if I, you're rich and want it, then that's where you should go. But. I feel like this is one of those ones to where we have to answer the question on bang for the buck and then would you spend the 150 um, We'll see. Under 100 proof for 10 years? I'm leaning no, mm -hmm. uh, and that's knowing that we get money if you buy it there. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Honesty. Honesty. Transparency as well. Uh, All the words. You know, like my, my third grade teacher said, honesty is the best policy. And I'm pretty sure she was the originator of that. Moving on. <laughs> so to you all, yeah. to Jack, excited. We do need to keep our heads about ourselves. Yeah. I mean, we're excited about it, but on a, we need to communicate. Sure. You know? yeah. Is it worth over SRP especially? Sure. Yeah. Before we dive in, like and subscribe if you would. We uh, have a handful of new subscribers over the past couple of weeks. Thank you for joining. If this is your... Mm -hmm. First or second time or whatever it is. Hope you uh, find us worthwhile and informative and maybe even enjoyable. Maybe yeah. I'll go as far to say enjoyable. We had uh, we had one subscriber, Arturo. Fantastic mustache. Some people, we can't see their pictures. Mm -hmm. Arturo had a I mustache. I enjoyed a good profile was, picture. Yeah. It was a good mustache. To you, Arturo. Hey, welcome. And the rest of you. Cheers. Yeah. Ooh. Sweet mercy. That's nice. I mean, getting like... It's like a, a peanut butter and like cranberry jam... Like, it's not just grape jelly. It's like there's a different uh, preservative, if you will, along with that peanut butter. Mine goes slightly, it's definitely red, so I'll see your cranberry. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's raspberry or strawberry. I get all my preservatives mixed up, you know. I love this nose. Um, there is the banana that obviously comes through, mm -hmm. but it's kind of coated in like this banana bread like brown sugar. I mean, it, it's definitely on the sweet side of the nose. Yeah, it's really good. If, if I was blinding this, I would not tell you, I would not go in expecting this to be 100 proof. This smells full. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I get a little oak, not a ton. At 10 year, you would expect it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. There's like a tiny little hint of like smokiness to it. Like a bonfire is like 100 yards away. Like you're yeah. close enough to where like you kind of know it's there, but you're also not sitting by the bonfire, if you know what I mean. There's a like that just maple rich sweetness in there that mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really enjoying. I could smell this all night. Sure. I'm not going to. More oak for sure on the palate. 
The yolk's here. Mm -hmm. Man, that's good. Once again, I would not give it under 100. Mm -hmm. And that's I was not say. in terms of heat. That's actually just kind of how it coats the mouth. Mm -hmm. There's a... Um, I feel like I didn't get a ton of smokiness on the nose. I could see how you would get that barrel char mm -hmm. on the palate for sure. Sure. The peanut still continues mm -hmm. to where I wouldn't sit there and think this is beam necessarily peanut, but halfway there. Yeah. I don't love heavy damp oak. Mm -hmm. The oak is here, but not um, not. I, it's not it's, oppressive. It's my, my oak. It's not oppressive. It's my oak, not sure. not damp oak. Right. Man. The peanut comes through more after you've actually tasted it. Mm -hmm. Like still more of a peanut butter than peanut shell. Like I don't get a lot of saltiness. Yeah, the peanut lingers on the finish, if that's what you're talking about. Mm. The second sip does bring more of that peanut shell, that saltiness, at least for me. Which I don't completely love, but the fact that the finish itself does hang around for, I think, longer than I anticipated, considering 97 proof. Yeah, I think my finish goes a little more salted caramel. There's still a lot of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I, it definitely leans salty, mm -hmm. which is not what I was expecting based off of the nose. Sure. So, so far, I would say you would not pay 150 I would not pay 150 yeah. I'm pretty impressed at the fact that it's 97 proof because yeah. this does not really taste like a sub-100 proof bourbon. Um, I, th I mean, I think it's priced relatively appropriately. We'll get into more of that with Bang for the Buck here in a second. But Yeah, it's all the palate and even finish. It's almost uh, not bready, but more like pan pancake. Okay. It's a bread, right? Kind of. Yeah, pastry, yeast, right? There's yeast involved. Something like that. Flour. But it's, instead of having the maple from the nose translate into the palate, it's like a plain pancake. Mm -hmm. I know it's been you know probably a couple months at this point. Years kind of flying by, but I'm, I'm leaning Jack 12 over Jack 10, probably by a relatively significant margin. Not to say that this isn't really good and worth the MSRP, um, but I mean Jack 12 blew my socks off, and this isn't quite there for me, but. You wonder why that they settled on that 97 proof to where why isn't it just 100 or mm -hmm. 107? Like, are they trying to eke out more bottles to mass distribute? I mean, that was last year's proof as well, so sure. probably not the reason. But it would be if they amped it up, what would actually happen? Because mm -hmm. I think part of 12 being at 107 to where it's not too hot and it's still oily on the mouth, which this is, that extra proof would do something, I think. Agree. We'll get into the grading here. We have yeah. our grading scale zero to 100. We break it down into two different categories. First being senses, which is your kind of all encompassing nose, palate, finish. How much did you like the bourbon regardless of the price? Mm -hmm. Second piece is bang for the buck where we do take solely that price into account, whether we think it's it's sitting above its weight, whether we think it's completely you know overpriced, whatever it may be. But senses lead us off. Me, huh? Yeah. All right. I just did the whole spiel. I'm winded. Man. I really like it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go 84. Okay. You liked a little bit more than I did. I was going to go 80 flat. Just round number guy, you know? Nothing wrong with round number guy. 80 flat. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I can't go fantastic. No. I, re I think it, Jack 12 was high 80s. Yeah. Speaking of, sorry, uh, we have eight categories um, that I'll flash on the screen now that kind of help us compare bottles, help us figure out our, you know, our true feelings. Um, like I said, I flashed this on the screen, but 84 is your great to fantastic range, kind of smacked up in the middle. Yeah. 80 flat is just into the great range. It's better than good. It is. It's, it's a great bottle. And yeah. 80 flat says that. So um, kind of more or less the same page as far as senses go. Yeah. So, I mean, you're teetering on very good to, to great. Right. And then bang for the buck, $85 MSRP. I'm willing to pay that and then probably a little bit more. I'd, go, I'd probably go up to 100 with it, so I'm going to go 65. Yeah, I think 100 is fair, mm -hmm. uh, especially with kind of that 10 to $12 a year yep. guide to people mm -hmm. um, hunting, if you will. At 97 proof, though, there is kind of a, a widely accepted rule of thumb to where yeah. if you're paying 
well over 100 bucks for a bottle that's not over 100 proof, you might be kind of trapping yourself into a kind of a, a bad deal. But Yes. So uh, transparency, mm -hmm. I did try and buy this online secondary, um, and I was willing to go to uh, 110. Mm -hmm. So I would go a little above you. Okay. So I would say, I mean, at 85, 10 years, I'm probably like 70 back for the buck. Okay. 70 is fine. Which yeah. there's no, like it's just unicorns and rainbows when it comes to bang for the buck because you're sure. like, I don't know what 70 means. Sure. I just know I'm willing to go to 110. Mm -hmm. If it was 120, I'm out. Yeah. And like we've received feedback to where it's like, oh, it's $10. It's like, okay, well, it's 85. Yeah. And I'm already going 30, 25 over. Yeah. Well, we have talked about this before. So yeah. You have to have a line somewhere. Yeah. And if you... My just, line is that. If you don't honor your line, then you have no line. And I don't respect And no that. honor. I don't respect that. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, those are our grades. We do input those into the Bourbon Bar Heat 2024 Whiskey of the Year sheet that is mm -hmm. uh, uploaded into that Patreon below that you mentioned already. Um, that's below if you have any interest in that. A um, couple things below. Yeah, a couple things below. Quick episode though, man. This is our, our first just single bottle, just give it its due spotlight in quite a while. We usually find something that we want to compare something to, and I feel like what? this time we just decided, let's, let's just do it, you I'm, know? I'm going to throw something at you. Okay. This, I mean, I feel like Old Forester 1924 can give this a run for its money. Ooh, the 10-year. And underproof, right? So same ballpark as far as age and... Same distiller. Ooh, it's Brown Foreman too, you're right. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll do a quick little five-minute comparison that we'll upload to Patreon. Um, this was unrehearsed, so I don't think this belongs on YouTube, but maybe Patreon will see. Hey. I mean, it's not poured. Sure. We'll have to like take a second. Yeah, but if yeah. you have interest in seeing this compared to Old Forester 24, the 10 year, that'll be uploaded just to probably a quick little five minutes here in a second. Like I said, quick and to the point. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you're new, hope you come back. Hope you enjoy um, hearing two guys ramble about hopefully good bourbon. And this was pretty good. So Jack on Jack Ryan. Cheers, man. Cheers, guys. <laughs>